idea. I have an idea. Hi, welcome to the stream. Which, by the way, I noticed that my channel does have a significant amount of watch, a significant enough amount of VOD watch time. So I know some of you guys out there in internet land are watching my streams, uh, my stream VODs on my Twitch channel. I appreciate the support. That said, you should be aware, and you probably have noticed, that the desktop audio is not enabled uh, in the Twitch VODs so that I don't get bopped accidentally by some copyright bullshit and I can do whatever I want on stream audio-wise. Um, I probably shouldn't have that enabled all the time, but I do. It's kind of just become a habit, and that's what this disclaimer on the bottom of the screen is. Uh, all of the VODs are uh, in there and are uploaded in their entirety with their audio and everything, with a few exceptions, unless it's like, I don't know if it's like we're doing like an E3 thing and I have to like gut a lot of the, the VOD for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, stuff gets uploaded in its entirety on YouTube where stuff might get claimed anyway, but it doesn't really matter because that VOD channel isn't capable of being monetized at the moment. So yeah, fuck it. Uh, but I just had an idea. I just had an idea. Um, hold on. I just had a fucking idea. So here's, here's Blender. Do you believe in God? I am God. Whoa. Whoa, welcome. Uh, I just had, um, an idea. Also, hi, Troyer. Guess who just had a fucking idea? Guess what we're doing? Guess what we're fucking doing? You see this? See what this is? Do you know what this is? You know what this is? I had an idea, like just now. Okay, so what's this camera looks like? The camera looks like that. Uh, you know what? I think that's fine. So here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna go to. Uh, do I remember how to do this? UV editing. Fun fact: the reason my handers call that because the German two is why basically two hander. I know that. Actually, also, hi, that's a very interesting first time chat. <laughs> Grim Creeper 5, so on and so forth. Uh, I actually am vaguely familiar with the German language. Uh, I don't remember. OK, so I had an idea. I want to I want to make a new talk sprite, a new Minecraft talk sprite, because uh, for the longest time I had a different one. I forgot. To I forgot to run OBS as admin, so. There might be some audio drift in this stream later on. Uh, sorry. Anyway, I want to do a thing here, new. Untitled, okay. There we go. Now how do I... A new two hands for it. Yeah. There's a lot of, uh, stuff that we have in English that is literally just, like, a literal... term for it in another language kind of thing. I, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this. And then I like, I've already forgotten how I do this. Uh, we have to go. You mean that? We do this. Not how you do that. How do I do this? How do I do this? Oh God, I've forgotten how I do this. Material. Um. Sign. How do I do this? <laughs> I've forgotten how to do this. Oh my God. Found the coolest thing in your Minecraft realm the other day, an ocean monument in a giant cave close to the surface with a mine shaft underneath it, and the cave is big enough to safely fly around with an elytra. My friends think this is the perfect time to make a guardian farm. Ooh, maybe. <laughs> the ocean monument was in the cave? That's fucking wild. Okay, I'm trying to make a cube happen. I want to make uh my Minecraft face appear on this, and I'm trying to remember how- Oh, you know what, actually? Hold on. Hold on. I have an idea. I can actually literally grab my Minecraft skin. Where the fuck is my Minecraft skin? We're gonna be really fucking fancy here, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Big brain, big brain. Big fucking brain coming in. Coming in hot. Well, because I don't have uh, OBS set to uh, run as administrator, I can click and drag images at least, but not really what I want. Okay, here's my Minecraft skin. Here's my Minecraft skin. You like how it's in interpolated? I mean, it's a uh, fucking scaled or whatever. Hold on, let me fucking fix that. Uh, properties. Let me fix that. There's a way to fix that. 
scale filtering point uh point there we go here's my minecraft skin and i want to like slot it in like oh god damn it rosie you made this thing layered maybe i can't do that hmm. you know what we'll do this some other time <laughs> I've hit I've hit a roadblock. We got to do this some other time. <laughs> uh, let me let me just get this out of here. Whoops. I was like, I remember how to do this. I totally remember how to do this. And, and I don't. It, it turns out that I don't remember how to do this. All right, whatever. Uh, here's Minecraft. Uh, it's not supposed to look like this. There we go. Here's Minecraft. We're playing on our server. I felt the need to play Minecraft today, so we're doing it. Um. Yeah, man, those bitches big. Those things big. It's hard to tell in like video games where scale is always weird, but those things are fucking huge. They're fucking huge. I don't remember where the hell I was or what I was doing last time I was on the server. Uh, falling. <laughs> falling. Oh, yeah. Okay. So. Uh, I don't think I showed any of this on stream, but I found, uh, I found Stronghold and this guy here. Do I host my own server? Yeah, I have a private server for friends that I host and, uh, oh fuck, Discord says I'm live. Dang, that's awesome. The bot that late. <laughs> Allegedly. The bot is, uh... The bot's on life support lately. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, this is a really cool stronghold. Uh, I... It, it took me fucking forever to figure this shit out, but... Um... If we pop over here... You'll see... This stronghold... Intersects with a lush cave... Uh... A lush cave biome. It's really fucking cool. Uh, it's got these flowers in it and like other stuff. And I always get lost. I always get lost in this stupid fucking thing. But like, there's some good shit in here. This is not one of the good shit rooms. Um, I've not been down here apparently. Uh, well, I'm gonna get lost, so let's Let's just get the fuck out of here. But yeah, this this area is really cool, and I kind of wanted to make it into my like 1.18 base. Uh, I've, I'm already lost. Have I been to this? I have. No. Uh, also, I got Optifine set up now, so the game is running real nice. I just managed to set that up before the stream because I remembered. Oh yeah, the Optifine release is probably out by now, and uh, here we are. So let me not get lost. Uh, I'm already lost. Try converting realms realm to server for more render distance. We couldn't get a good price package that would let us get good frames and have a good render distance. We move back to a realm. Yeah, you don't need a PC that's that good. It depends, right? Like if you're going to be running, I'm already lost. If you're going to be running the server at the same time as like doing other shit, uh, you need to have a decent enough PC to do that, which I have. I have a pretty good PC. My PC's fallen behind a little bit in terms of, uh, you know, the best parts and all that, but still, it's pretty good. Um, I'm lost. How do I always get lost in here? I, I live here. That's it. Through here. I li- Oh my god, I'm lost. Uh, but- if you were to have like a dedicated computer that like you just have a you just have a server machine right then you could probably afford to have like it not be that good because you don't really need like a gpu i don't think i don't think you need any gpu uh rendering power at all to have like a server be hosted you know it's all like cpu and ram and shit and uh i am i am fucking lost how am I lost in my own stupid fucking house? 
Oh god, get me out of here. How do I go home? Ah, uh, it's over here. It's over here. It's this way. See? There it is. But yeah, everything runs really well. Uh, for the most part. Some we, we do have some issues. The server likes to crash a lot when you're running it like totally vanilla. And I think that's more of just a problem with uh vanilla Minecraft than it is with my own computer. But it could also be like running a lot of parallel tasks alongside the, the, the server itself increases the chances for it to crash. Um, a whole number of things, you know. I think these are dead ends. Uh, yeah, this is like a dead end. This is a dead end. So like uh, often when I'm not running like uh, there are modded versions of like the, the vanilla server like that you could run, you know, you could run the Microsoft just straight out of the box server jar, which is usually what we do. But if you want to have like plugins and stuff, you want to run like Spigot or something like that. I usually do Spigot and Spigot runs so much better than vanilla. Uh, and I like never have problems with it crashing or anything like that. So, uh, we want to retrofit this area into a base. And I don't know exactly how I want to do that, but as you can see here, I started clearing space out. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to do next, though, is the problem. But uh, we got our ender chest here. So, oh yeah, so I have the end portal activated. I have not been to the end yet. Um, and... I don't know when we're going to do the Ender Dragon. I probably don't want to so <laughs> I probably don't want to solo it because there's probably there is most likely going to be other players who want to like do it at the same time. So I just haven't like asked anyone about it yet. Uh, so we're still not in post game content. She says in full netherite gear. Um, <laughs> we're still not in fucking end game content. Yeah, that's the thing, though, like turning your render distance, being able to like turn the server side render distance up is nice. But I probably wouldn't recommend going over like 16 um, for a server. Like it, it is set like pretty low by default for a reason, because, yeah, the server has to handle every single player's render distance all at like the same time. Uh, and that's not great. You know, even if you have like like if you have Optifine, that's cool, but that's not going to like help the server, <laughs> you know, whereas like. Yeah, the server's still struggling. Do I recommend Spigot? Yeah, I do. Uh, it can be a bit of a pain in the ass to convert a world to and from Spigot. And I think other types of like server setups are kind of similar, but OK, so the file structure of your server is uh, important because your world folder is where all of like the save data is for like the world itself uh, and including some like other stuff. So like the actual map and then like a bunch of other data attached to that. That's also important. And uh, that is divided up into. Oh, God, yeah, that stuff is divided up into. Um, three different folders uh, which represent the three different dimensions. So there's the overworld, the end and the nether. Um, now, in a in a vanilla setup, the vanilla server, it has all the dimensions like in a single folder, more or less. They're like they're all like rooted or nested. Rather, they're all nested within like a base like world folder that has the overworld data in it. However, Spigot and Spigot will automatically convert this for you. Keep this in mind. Spigot will do the work for you to convert it into its own format. But Spigot um, does it differently where each dimension is kind of its own folder. So it restructures everything, which means if you try to convert because Spigot will just like grab a vanilla world and it will like convert it like so it works and that's cool. But if you're trying to go the other way around, uh, which I had to do for uh, the server update. If you try to go the other way around, you'll run into an issue where you have to manually like reassemble your world file, your world folder, 
because Spigot has like thrown it to the four corners of the earth and you have to like reassemble it so like a vanilla server will recognize it because like you saw if you watched uh because i actually streamed the process of updating the server to 1.18 which involved switching over from spigot to vanilla and if you were watching that stream you would have noticed that uh there was a point where i had to restart the server again even though it was all updated because uh i misplaced the nether uh dimension like folder so when I load into the nether, it generated new terrain instead of just loading up the old terrain. So I had to like switch it around. But um, yeah, it's, it, it's not that bad. Like it's not that bad once you figure out how to do it. It's just a consideration you have to make. Like, OK, because when there's a new update, you're not going to have like a spigot update immediately on the same day necessarily. It's the same thing with like Optifine. You know, you got to give people like a week or two to get everything back in order. So you're going to be running vanilla for a little while. Um, but once you're like, you know, once all that shit is good, uh, you're good. And I should probably switch back over to Spigot again, because I had stuff like the, the real time map that you could access through your web browser. Like that shit's really cool. That, uh, Dynamap, the dynamic map, that stuff's cool. Uh, and I want to re-enable that again. Uh, we ran okay at, at the very beginning of our server's lifespan uh we ran off of a realm trial while i was still getting the server set up on my end because i had to like do all the networking stuff like you got to open ports and you got to go through your router and you need like admin access on like three different levels real gamer hours and that is such a pain in the ass to do so while i was figuring that out and i was like really impatient i was like all right fuck it we're doing like a realm Free trial like you know we're just gonna do that for the time being and i'm gonna use like the trial period like which is like a month or two or something and i'm gonna use that period of time and i'm gonna use that to uh i'm gonna use it to hear uh on a buy time so that i can figure out the server stuff and i did ultimately uh i got ourselves running on a server on my computer like before the trial was even up i think um and there might come a time where like uh, I can't host the server my own, my, on my own for some reason for a period of time, like say my computer's not available or I'm moving around, you know, which is like something that could definitely happen. And at that point, I'll probably just like pay for a realm for a little bit. Let's see if I can transfer the file over. And if I can't, because I know realms have like limitations, but you play a quick pro FOV. Dang, 15 F FPS difference. That makes sense, but especially when the range is so wide. Yeah, I like to I like to play at 90 because uh, it's it's enough vision. But like if I have too much, uh, I don't know. Like, OK, the prop in vanilla Minecraft. Uh, when you have dynamic FOV stuff, stuff like speed boost and things will increase your FOV and especially when like you're sprinting um, and I hate that shit. So I, I usually keep it at 90 as a default because that way when your FOV gets cranked all the way up, like in gameplay, it's not that bad. But Minecraft isn't like a game where I need my FOV to be like 180 or something, you know? Uh, I'm fine with it being at 90. Especially because like the higher your FOV is, the more distorted the image gets to an extent. And Minecraft is one of those games where like I'm fine with it like you know, being as is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, when you're when you're watching someone else play, it, it, it might be harder to notice like some FOV stuff because despite FOV being like a visual thing. Despite FOV being a visual thing, it's it's a big like feel kind of, you know, like you feel the FOV more than you like see it. In a lot of the uh, cases. So I'm trying to think what I actually want to put in this space I'm carving out because I really I genuinely have no plan. Uh, I like the idea of having a base that has the end portal in it because I've never actually built like a proper structure around the portal before. 
Uh, and I think this is a cool opportunity to do that, especially in like an interesting underground location. Um, but I might want to like carve out more vertical space than we've got. Uh, I'm not sure. Fucking shit in here. Okay. Hmm. Oh, hey, buddy. Want to go to the end? Yes, you do. Come on. Yeah, lush caves have so much fucking clay. It's like ridiculous. He doesn't want to go in. There he goes. <laughs> That's going to bite me in the ass in like two months when we finally do that. Uh, all right. Oh, another one. Easier to get mossy cobblestone now, too. Yeah. He's having a fun trip. Uh, okay, what am I gonna fucking do here? Oh, you know what? I'll hop into the... In case anyone wants to join me. Make sure I'm in the Discord. A fun trip. Ah! Uh, I started this stream with absolutely no plan, by the way. <laughs> like, I, this was a complete impulse. I was like, I want to stream something. I don't feel like doing anything really involved. Uh, let's do this. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. You know what? Uh, Xana was building something, and I never actually looked at it after she finished it. So let's, let's go check that out. Let's see. So here's the nether. The nether uh, is a little dangerous right now. Not exactly up to code. Uh, there's a bat in here for some reason. Um, so right now our, our nether like structure is like a super highway where we just have like one long road and then stuff branching off of it. Like one long road going in a straight line and then shit branches off of it. Uh, so at the end of this part of the path is where my base is. And then all the way down here, uh, is where Xana's place is. You can tell cause she fucking put torches on the wall for some reason. Oh yeah, the locals, right? Alright, that deals with that. I do feel like netherite should count as as a gold item. At least for like making those guys neutral, but I understand why they don't do that. Of course. Of course. Right, this one's coming up. So here's Xana's place. Uh which I have not seen yet. Not finished, at least. A very interesting area. Hey, is this lit? Hold on. Check if there's any zero here. I don't think there is. They buffed the fuck out of lighting in this update, so... Yeah, okay, we're good. Everything looks nice and lit here. This is, this is, I like, I, you know, wait, hold on. Let's actually, like, look at this. Uh, first of all, sheer drop. We love that. We love that. Um, so let's snoop a little. What you got? You got. You got a mending help? Where the fuck did you get that? Oh right, we have free mending. I forgot. I forgot. I I created a post scarcity world. <laughs> Everyone has mending. You never built with concrete blocks. So yeah, concrete is a big pain in the ass. Unless you're a hardcore Minecraft player, you're not gonna fucking build with concrete. Uh, that said, uh, I have a, I made a set of recipes, uh, custom recipes where you can turn wool into terracotta, into concrete of the same color. So if you have a wool farm of one of each colors, uh, you can get any terracotta or, uh, concrete of that color because... Uh, terracotta isn't that bad to get now that clay is really abundant in lush caves. Uh, but it's still, I don't, it's still barely a renewable resource. Um, and concrete is one of the most pain in the ass building materials in the entire game. And I have no qualms with just nerfing it, like nerfing that crafting recipe so fucking hard. 
so that like it's not a problem anymore. Dead. All right, what do we got here? Oh, right, you're supposed to. Oops. All right, there we go. There's probably a better way of making the. I'm trying to think. Because these kind of clocks are always a little iffy. Uh. But, well, there's a better way of, like, uh, triggering it than a lever. Eh, it works. Well, yeah, especially because there's no way to turn that off without, like, breaking it. I think that's the problem. Lighthouses are the same size. I know, there was another... I'm surprised Xana didn't build a lighthouse on the old server. Yeah, this place is pretty nice. So yeah, that's why I that's one of the reasons why I build the uh the wool machines. They're the same redstone lights too. Yeah. That's probably like a design. I think I think so the, the person who built a uh why the person who built a um lighthouse on the last server, I think they they also used the same kind of design. Although it was a little bit more compact. It was a narrower lighthouse, I think. Uh, about the same height though. Actually it was taller. Lighthouse on the old server was taller. Um, now she just needs to build a build a keeper's house, like here, like here probably. That'd be nice. Oh, well, I don't really know what her plans are, but look at these fucking mountains, dude. This shit. No gamer hours. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else of note. That other people have built so far in 118 because it's mostly just been a lot of like exploring and there's not a lot of people have been online other than like Xana and uh our friend Dom was on too from Mesa Mountains and yeah, the mountain the mountain stuff isn't too too common but it's pretty common if you're like running around a lot it just kind of depends on the sort of terrain you've got uh, so let's see. Other. I swear. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, actually, Roxy was on. That's what this is. What do goats do? You cannot milk them. You cannot milk goats. Uh, goats were supposed to drop horns, but they never implemented that feature. Um, so they don't do that. <laughs> uh... So goats, okay, the one thing goats do is there's a chance that when you're breeding goats, they're, they have a hostile tag where they're like really aggressive and they will attack other mobs. Yeah, there's just a village here. Yeah, Roxy and like Minty have claimed this. Yippee, village. Uh, I'm not sure if there's anything remarkable around here. It's just like the usual. There's like a shore. Oh, it's like a frozen ocean over there. Hmm. All right. This is a nice little village. I like I like how open this village is. It feels good. Hay bales are great early game when you don't have any money, but when you do have a lot of money, you can only get 16 at a time from this guy anyway. But when you do have a lot of a lot of food and a lot of resources, hay bales are just uh, a quick fix, you know? They're not sustainable. So my cool gamer brain doesn't care about them. Alright. So what material should we use to construct our underground base? Look at, this, look at this very safe walkway over lava. This, this is so safe. Oh my god, it's so safe. I feel so secure. So we're gonna head back to spawn, and I'm gonna take a look at my inventory and see if there are any, uh, any items that I want to use to build up our base, you know? That's what I am thinking about. 
your spawn. Nothing is labeled. Uh, there's no sign postage or anything. Uh, our, our nether hub is very much a work in progress right now. All right, here's the mansion. Back at spawn. Let's see here. Oh yeah, there's some decent caves. Uh, yeah, there's Dom's rectangle. Uh, there's some decent caves underground. Now. Corbin structure from Skyrim. Yeah, there's some good architecture. Skyrim's got some good architecture. Uh, except for Oblivion. Haha. <laughs> uh, Elder Scrolls has, has good architecture stuff. Uh, so what do we got? We got a lot of birch. We got a lot. I'm calling you out, Oblivion. I'm calling you out. All your fucking towns look the same. <laughs> it's like, oh, look at these radically different cultures we have across uh, fucking Cyrodiil or whatever. Uh, like, bitch, bitch, bitch. Everyone's everyone's fucking using the same generic European fantasy house. Get out of here. Like, look at these. Look at this frigid north. And everyone's like dressed for the spring. Oh, whatever. Shut up. Uh, hot take. Oblivion stinky. Uh, okay. Well, we have we have some blackstone. Only a little bit of blackstone. We could get more pretty easily. We've got like a whole mine set up in the Nether. Uh, in fact, we have so much blackstone. Maybe we should use blackstone. So this stuff is deep slate. I am God. Yeah, yeah. High fantasy stuff being like Brittany. It's either like, uh, just fucking like, like, you know, European medieval, or it's like, uh, Tolkien high fantasy stuff. Uh, which I, I like me some Tolkien, but you know, come on guys. I don't know how I prefer my high fantasy because I'm not a fan of like anime bullshit and I'm not a fan of, you know what? Honestly, I think my preference for high fantasy is, uh, I prefer the more dark fantasy stuff. Variety, yeah, variety is a good way of saying it, putting that. I prefer more dark fantasy stuff. I like uh, The Witcher and, like, Berserk, where... Okay, Berserk is very much, like, just fucking European, like, medieval Europe bullshit. But Berserk is also, you know. And Berserk has all the, like, fucking fairy shit, which is great. You know? Uh, oh, this is a, uh, this is a, um, uh, a glowing f item frame, and this is a regular item frame. So you use glow squidding to make this, and the idea is this is full bright. You can't tell because my, my base is well lit, but this one will be full bright, and this one will be affected by lighting normally, is the idea. Uh, I use these to in, in, uh, differentiate between which one's which, and then I hung them on my wall. Uh, this one makes you fly. This one shoots lightning. Hmm, we got some quartz. Unfortunately, building with quartz is a little like boring. Uh, you know what? Let's let's hold on. Got our sub touch. Let's do a little experiment. Uh, let's grab some blackstone. Uh, what do we do with? We have to polish it first. Okay. Uh, do I have a saw? I do. Okay, that works. Uh, we'll just take you. Okay. Here's our little testing ground. So I want to do that. Let's see how uh, some of these blocks interact with each other. So what should we... I guess I would want the polished bricks. That's usually my go-to. Although just the straight up polished blocks are pretty good. Let's grab some polished blocks. And then why aren't you 16? What? Huh? What did I do? What? What? Oh. Oh, because that's a third, not a, a quarter. Right? Uh, okay. So. Let's take a look here. So we have... I want to see how these look together. Hold that sound. 
Love that sound. We got like this, and then we got like that, and then we got like this. Uh, uh, eh, mm, mm. Mm. Like that looks f fine because there's a bit of like a reddish tint to blackstone anyway. You can see there's like some purple in here. Uh, let's go make it daytime. You can definitely see there's like some purple there, but the problem with amethyst is it is just such like a jarring block. It doesn't like feel like it. it, it you can't make it like transition neatly, I don't think. Uh, so you have to be able to use it like very deliberately. Uh, and I'm not really sure how to accomplish that. Uh, what do I have zoom set to? Is it P? Oh, that's player list. It's uh, like that button. It's that button. It's it's uh, it's uh, what button is that? It's fucking apostrophe. <laughs> hmm. Like I feel like that that could work. So if we wanted to be blackstone, and also you can see the difference here, where like blackstone has that very purple tint to it. It's that reddish color that's all up inside of it. Whereas deep slate is gray. Deep slate is very distinctly gray. Like there's a, there there is a there is an aesthetic difference, which kind of means I feel like that makes it harder to mix these two block types together. Let's take a look. Let's let's why did I, why did I pick those up? I didn't need to. So like if I do like, you know, I feel like I feel like you could use this. You could use this to represent like a more burnt kind of stone. Also, there appear to be faces. There's like souls trapped in this. That's kind of neat. Um, that pattern isn't on here. Uh, oh yeah, there's totally souls trapped in the blackstone. Now that I'm looking at it. 1.19. Uh, I saw the like Minecon reveal for that. Uh, but so far, I don't think we have any. Unless something came out literally today. I don't think we've gotten any um, pre-releases yet because they're still like polishing up 1.18. Yeah, there's no pre-releases right now. Uh, Minecraft. But yeah, that, that stuff looks cool. The 1.19 stuff looks really cool. Um, it's kind of a shame that like 1.17 has been split up into three fucking updates. However, all of these updates are very good. <laughs> so. Yeah, the frogs. Frogs are neat. I don't know that they're gonna like do anything. Frogs are neat. The fireflies, I like the idea of having fireflies in the game. That'll be an awesome like little bit of extra ambience. Uh, yes, new, confirmed new wood type. The, the mangrove trees are confirmed to be a full new wood type. We just haven't seen what the, the objects look like yet because uh, they haven't made those yet. Uh, so I'm thinking, OK, what if I do like a floor? All right, like this. Actually, I can afford to break some fucking torches, you know? Is like, you know, lighting buff and all that. I'm not the biggest fan of the grid shape here. Hmm. Is there a polished deep slate? I don't remember if there's. I do. I do not remember if there is a polished deep slate. I don't think there is. No, uh, there's not. I'd be using it here somewhere if there was. I think. Uh, let's take a look. Bruh. Fuck this game. Yeah, there's no polished deep slate. No, there is. Am I using this? I thought I was. Am I using polished deep slate anywhere? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So the way this thing works, shears get loaded in here. They get top loaded into this dispenser, which is, you know, right here. In fact, you can see it working. So the idea is that they eat the grass block and there is an observer, uh, which you can't see because I've sealed it, but there's an observer underneath the dispenser. And whenever the grass grows or the grass gets eaten, it powers the dispenser. And whenever sheep eat grass, they grow their wool back like that. See? And when they do that, they eat the grass and the grass gets turned into dirt, which means the dispenser triggers instantly. So all the sheep stay bald because every single time they get their wool back, they instantly get sheared. Uh, that's how that works. So how would this work? No, that doesn't work. Because not only is like the color different, but like the pattern on it, the texture itself is different too. There's like a grain to this, whereas this is like noise. This has like a grain and this has a noise. I don't think works. Uh, you, you know, yeah, you could make this work. You could definitely make this work. You could draw like a pattern on the floor with this. Like use the blackstone as a backdrop and the deep slate as like your detailing. And you can make some kind of like pattern with that, I think. Like, hmm. Do I want to do that, though? I don't think I want to use this. Like, I like the idea of using Blackstone. Because I've been using Deep Slate for so long. This is like a slight change while still keeping that like dark color scheme I kind of like. Um, hmm. Hmm. What? What if... What if I used like dark oak? Do we have any dark oak lying around here? I don't think we do. Shit. Shit. Oh, did I set up a portal at the mansion? I don't know that I set up a portal at the mansion because that's where uh, there's a covered forest there that we can get all of our shit we need from. But yeah, there's a lot of storage in there. Uh. In this whole fucking thing. I, I'm actually curious how much of it is filled up. Because we haven't really had this loaded in. Yeah, just that much. We've got a lot of room to go here. Because, like, unlike the modded server where I can, like, create resource sinks, uh, we need to make sure there's a big buffer here so we actually have material to, like, you know, supply it, you know? It's pretty good. This thing is fucking easy to make, by the way. Like, this thing is really fucking easy to make. Uh, it, it, it's so simple that, um, you could, like, triple the size of this thing and, like, it would still work. The problem, of course, the resource sink here is iron. You need to be able to make iron shears, but I have my villager trading hall set up. I have my villagers, and I just buy shears from them. Okay, and this guy over here. An emerald per shears. So, you know. We don't have, we still don't have any iron farm set up, actually. I need to do that. That's like on the to-do list. Uh, we, we have no source of iron right now, other than just like mining, which sucks. Uh, that sucks a lot. So I don't think I have any dark oak and I don't, maybe I could use spruce. We have some spruce. Let's go look at spruce. I have an idea. I have an idea. Grab some spruce. Do I have any? Do I have any? You know, I got some moss blocks in here. Yeah, I want to leave these in here, actually. Like half of that. Um, I don't have any leaves. Strip spruce logs. Stripped spruce. 
with Blackstone. I'll try that. Yeah, I'll try that. My horse really likes that I'm carrying carrots. Uh, all right, we'll we'll try that. Fuck it. Um, just like do that. Like so. I see what you mean. Yeah, there's not big contrast. All right, there's you know. Hmm. How does it look with, well, first, I want to make this into, uh, I want to make one of these. There we go. Okay. That looks pretty okay. Did you back up? That doesn't look that bad. Uh, but, okay, so the reason I want these, though, I want to see how these look with uh, moss blocks. So if I do like this, that look. I think that looks okay. I think that looks okay, but what if? Really? Can I not? What? Oh. I swear you could. Okay. It's not a woodcutter. No gamer hours. All right. But what does it look like when I put stairs next to it? Looks okay. Hmm. I'm forming an idea here. I'm trying to come up with a motif, like a visual theme. And I think the spruce wood planks with moss blocks look okay. Let's let's get fucking I guess daylight doesn't matter, but just tap the bed anyway. So Hmm. I'm thinking we get some flowering azalea. Yeah, let's get some azalea leaves. We have shears of our own. Yeah, I've got a big old like azalea patch back here. It has some purple in it. And these leaves have their own kind of distinct look, you know? Oh, do I have a bee farm? Uh, no, but there are certain members of the server that have been doing manual bee farm stuff. Uh, so stuff like honey is available if we need it. Uh, okay. I guess we'll just like grab some. Very particular idea here. Yeah, I'm really pleased with the 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 like the new the new music because they they're not they're not hiring C418 anymore for new music. But uh, what's her face? They got it's fucking amazing. So <laughs> I was very skeptical of giving you know, the reins of Minecraft music to somebody else, but, uh, damn, dude. I'm not that worried. <laughs> I'm not that worried. The new stuff is really good. Even if it is, like, pretty different. up that much. That. Like this. 
we're gonna grab these stairs. I think I'm gonna wanna, whoops. I should like, nah, fuck it. All right, so then we're gonna do this. That. That. And then. That. But we want one more thing. This. the dirt. Maybe a log would be better there. I'm just trying to see, because the idea is I have a pattern where not not with the stairs exactly, but this is kind of what I'm using for an example. Um, where there's moss on the ground and there's azalea leaves up above framed within like uh, spruce wood. I think maybe I want to have logs there. Uh, we have both kinds we can test. Let's see. You got to be sideways. That looks decent. I think this should be taller. This is like three blocks. I want four or five blocks, but I think that could work. Okay. <sighs> okay, so how do we determine what we want that pattern to be like? If this is, these are the blocks I'm picking for my like underground stronghold base. Because this kind of follows the theme of it being um, in a lush cave biome, right? And we'll have access to more of these blocks, like, on location, too. Except for spruce wood. I'll have to, like, farm up a bit of that. Uh, but I think this looks okay. Yeah, that looks good. I think it looks good with the strip logs. Um, hmm. Let's head over to the base. Let's bring spruce with us. Uh, we're going to have azalea and stuff there. We don't really need to bring more azalea materials. Uh, definitely want to bring more spruce. And some spruce saplings. Do I have any? There are leaves in here. Apparently not. Maybe I composted all of them. Uh, first tree. Get your ass. You know, because of you guys support me on stream, I have enough money for a new keyboard, and I'm just a fucking dumb shit ass, and I haven't bought one yet. Anybody has real cool keyboard suggestions? Let me know. Let me know. I'm like, okay, literally, I'm like constantly under the assumption that I have literally no money. No matter what's in my bank account, which I guess is a good position to be in, kind of. It's, 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 it's a better than horrible mindset, I guess. Although once I realize how much money I have, I, I might start being a bit of a dumbass with it. But, you know, <laughs> you know, uh... But yeah, I need to like look into keyboard stuff because this one, like this keyboard, I'm using a Logitech keyboard. I don't remember what kind it is. What's this thing called? It's a G810, G810. And like, it's it's fine, but I, it's fucking busted. <laughs> a lot of the switches are like broken. And I, I could repair it. Uh, and I might still look into that because I, I know the, the tools for like pulling apart a keyboard are pretty cheap. Um, so that like shouldn't be a problem. 
but uh, I do still want to look into a new computer keyboard because I could I could get a real nice keyboard. <laughs> uh, but I don't know. We'll have to see because I think I don't remember how much this thing cost because I bought this back when I was building this computer, uh, which was like forever ago. And I still have like a lot of the receipts for that. The portal is not out here. I still have a lot of receipts for that shit. But uh, sifting through that stuff's kind of annoying. Like I'm pretty sure this keyboard must have been like fucking sixty dollars or something, maybe more than that. But it's not like super duper 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 expensive. But it's like nice enough to be a dedicated keyboard that you're not gonna like throw away or give to your grandma or something, you know? <laughs> Don't fall in the lava. Uh huh. All right. Do I have soul speed? No. I do not. Fuck. I don't think I can fit soul speed on these. These boots are like maxed out. Cause I I I, I the, we have slabs here. So I could put, um, it's not gold. Where'd you get that? Uh, we could put like soul, uh, soil underneath these slabs. And I can make it into a fast, fast highway. Razor or not a V2. Attachable wrist rest. Ooh, a wrist rest would be good. Uh, volume scroll thing. I like the volume button cause I need, uh, my keyboard has a volume scroll wheel on it too. Ooh, portal. Uh, it has a volume scroll wheel on it as well. However, um, it's a little, it's a little janky. It, as it has aged, it's gotten a little worse. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's like you know, RGB. Yeah. My keyboard's RB, RGB is notably busted. Some of the keys just don't light up properly. Wait, is that still a thing? Oh yeah, that's absolutely still a thing. Yeah, the the blue, the blue lights on some of these are like busted. Uh, right. throw that in there. Brought my shears with me for some reason. Put those in there. Why not? Okay. So we grabbed some moss, but not a lot of it. Let's go out and get some moss. <laughs> I need some goddamn moss. We could also use the vines too. We have a lot of options, really, uh, for materials if we want to, like, make this work with the, uh, the biome we're in. Oh, yeah. Like, I need a volume uh, thing on my keyboard because otherwise I have to, like, tab out, you know, and go to the Windows thing. I have no other way to control my volume. My keyboard is, like, the only way I control my volume. Okay, so... This is our ceiling. Uh, oh, you know, I want the shears on, on me. I want them like on me so I can like get rid of stuff. Uh, let's just do that. Like this. So I want the ceiling to be here. Hmm. Uh. Oh god, odd number, even number. I need to make this wider. Fuck. It has to be wider. Be wider. Oh, we're gonna have to go farm some obsidian to widen this. It's two blocks, actually. Do I have two blocks of obsidian? I do. Let's widen this portal. Let's widen this portal right now. Wrong tool. The fact that it's a glass break sound. Never not be weird. I keep forgetting you can just like make your portal wider if you want to. That's just an option you have. Uh, there we go. 
Always like, but the portal has to be uh, two blocks. Two blocks wide. That's so restrictive. But no, no, no. You, you, can, you can get a dummy thick portal. It's fine. I've made giant ones before. There's literally one at spawn. Uh, that's better. So here's like the entrance into the base and the exit. Uh, so stuff should kind of be centered around this a little bit. Um, you know what else I could do? Colonel. You know what else I could do? I could hide um, lights above the leaves. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I could do uh, like this. This. That. That. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's the thing you typed. Uh, yeah, I, I could hide lights in here amongst, like, the wood. We're gonna want to like get above the ceiling. Oh. Otacon. I don't know. Well, uh, it's snake seems much more like the Minecraft type than Otacon. The snake's like a a rugged kind of survivalist guy. Was to an extent. So he'd be like, Minecraft. Huh. You know, this reminds me. This reminds me of the time when I was in Alaska, or whatever. Mushing dogs. It was, you know I was a dog musher. Otacon. Fuck. Uh, uh Otacon. Gonna try pre stripped. Oh, my dogs. You can't fucking see them. All the more reason to strip them. I keep. I'm trying to make my toolbar more efficient and I'm like hitting the wrong buttons. Maybe I should like. And then, like, do that. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay. Right. But that is a bit brighter. Yeah. That's a bit brighter. Okay. And this wouldn't just be like a straight line. This is just like I'm I'm experimenting with the pattern. I'm trying to like figure out how I want to place these. Um Hmm. Thinking. Thinking. That's a decent ceiling height, although not when compared to this portal here. Oh, you know it would be fun? You know it would be fucking fun? I can set this up so you enter the portal from underneath and set up from above. I could I could get some slime pistons here, some pistons with slime blocks on them, and I could just have like a bounce pad that shoots you up into it instead of making you fall down. I think that's what I want to do. 
That could be fun. You press a button, and then everyone standing goes all up at once. I like that idea. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Make a note of that. I'll forget. Uh, okay. Let's carve out the floor. This part, we don't have to make this too deep. Because it's just gonna be like... There's no transparent blocks or anything, so... There we go. Sometimes the pickaxe just starts fucking going off for some reason. That might be like a server thing. Hogs love it here. Yeah, this looks terrible with all the stone exposed, all these bricks and stuff, but we're going to get rid of that. Um, I think this could work. Yeah, I think this could work. How do I want to do the pattern here? Uh, I think this is a dead end, isn't it? It's totally. No, let's go to the library. Yeah, we could board this up, who cares? Fuck the library. Fuck reading. It, it's eventually a dead end anyway. Um. I'll just, like, do this. Leave it like that for now. I could use, like, some terracotta, which is, like, a brown, earthy tone. Fill in some of this. Hmm. No gamer hours. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Uh, love it when I'm thinking. <sighs> okay, let's just get clean out inventory. Garbage. Ah. Uh, Yeah, I think this could work. I think this can work. Let's knock this down. Uh, this is silk touch, so I can still grab this guy. We don't have like a we do not have a good supply of obsidian right now because we don't have access to the end, and I can't just harvest the end towers uh, and turn them into obsidian uh, supply. So, oh well. Wrong button. Just slap that there. And then you. Double check. Those break really quick. I could have sworn those took longer to break. But, oh well. Not half bad. But it does look garbage with all the stuff surrounding it. So, uh, how are we gonna fucking make a pattern out of this? I think I'd like for it to line the, the sides of the room. So we could, like, branch out and, like, go around, along the sides. I think. Huh. I am thinking. I am thinking real hard. Hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make this get squared and real crunchy resolution. And I'm gonna do this. And it's gonna get a bit bigger, but not big enough. And then I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go here. And you know what I'm doing? You know what I'm fucking doing? I say fuck it because uh, I'm opening Blender back up. 
Blender on screen. Blender on screen. That is not Blender. Blender on screen. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's below the game capture. There it is. Okay, so, um, like I was trying to do before, I really want to, like, make a thing here. Also, here's the video game. Hold on. Here's Minecraft for you. There you go. Look at Minecraft while I uh, do this. Uh, so I, I really want to like, you got our UV editing, right? How do we, image, new image, untitled, uh, cube face, right? The structures that spawn underwater with chests in them, what's drowned around them since the new update, you've been seeing them in random biomes nowhere near the ocean. I've heard some bugs like that. Yeah. Okay. So we've got cube face. Right now, uh, texture paint paints stuff on, but maybe editing shit. Texture paint. This. I think texture's detected. Mm. Texture. Oh, I fuck. Ah. Ah. I forget how to do everything. <laughs> I forget how to do everything. How do I do anything? I swear it's like in here. It. Uh. Good music. All I want to do is make a funny little Minecraft face in 3D, like I like I have for the the um racing lagoon streams. I can't fucking remember how to do this shit for some reason. Yeah, it's in UV editing. UV editing. And I should just be able to like apply this, right? I go to. Hmm. It's like I have this like black texture, right? Gotta be a way to like. How do I not remember how to fucking do this? Here's our material. Like. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on, hold on. Um. Hold on, hold on. I think I remember how to do this. Uh, I have to make. Uh, I have to make like the like bump map or whatever. BMP or some shit. Let me do that. Add. Uh, input. UV map. That's not it. That ain't it. Uh, I want texture. Wave image texture. This. Cube face, color, connect this, that. Aha! That's how you do it. And then we go back to UV editing. And I can render this. See, like that? Alright. And we've got this. And, uh, uh. And we just have to, like. Image editor. Here's the image. I don't know if there's any ways I can actually like meaningfully edit this shit. Here. I would have just got this. Uh, but that's how that works. So if I open up, uh, if I go back to the shading, I can actually switch this over to uh, an actual, the image of the, the my Minecraft skin. Which totally works, guys. Look at that. Wow, look, Minecraft. Uh, so then uh, we're going to go over to UV editing. It's real fucking blurry, which isn't great. Uh, and we're going to go here. Right? Look at this. 
So now, <clears throat> what we're gonna do is, we're gonna grab all this shit, and we are going to scale that. Wait, it's like G? No, G is move. S is scale. There we go. You love cubes? I missed it. G. Just look at that. Look at that. Ain't that better? That's like the actual face over there. Okay, there is a problem here. Uh, the This is doing... I want like closest. There we go. That's better. Come cube. All right. Uh, this isn't really what I want, though. I want to like combine this with this. Right? Because it's, it's these two layered over each other. But you know what I could do? I can make a second cube. I could just make a second cube, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, well, first off, let's rotate this. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Uh, and then we can, like... I just, like, snap rotate? Yeah, there we go. Okay. And then we can G... That... Uh, Although the stuff isn't like perfect squares. I mean, okay, whatever. We'll just like spin it when we need to. All right. So this face here. Right. This face. This this face. Oh, my God. UV smart UV project. Oh, okay. Actually, that's a bit better. Okay. So now I want to select faces and we're going to go with this face here. This face. Uh, We're going to. Grab, we're gonna move it here, right? And then we're gonna scale that bitch in, right? Okay. And then we're gonna, whoops, I forgot to scale it uh, like that. And then we're just gonna like adjust it like that, right? 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 Bit like that. It's not perfect, it's not perfect, but we don't give a shit, okay? And then we're going to grab like this, right? And this should be like this side of that, I think. Yeah, like this. All right, and then we're going to scale that. And we're going to like move that around. That's the wrong side of the head. It should be this side of the head. Because this is like mirrored or whatever. Okay, there. I mean, that's not it, but... Because it's not scaled properly. Perfect. Close enough. Okay. And then we're going to grab this side of the head, which is actually almost lined up entirely. But. But. We have to like drinky dink that. Okay. Close enough. Okay, and then there's this part of the head. Uh, uh, which part of the head is that? I think that's like over here. Yeah, that's over here. And we gotta scale that. And that can just be, that's a solid color, so who cares? And then we've got the back of the head, uh, which is uh, all the way over here, like this. Like so, do you look how perfect these textures are aligned? See, they're so perfect, okay? And then, uh, that's the whole head. Whole head, guys, I swear. Uh, whole, whole head. The whole, the whole head. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Perfect. Perfect. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. Okay, good. All right. So next we're going to add another cube. Perhaps I shouldn't have done this. And then we're going to scale the cube up a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to go into shading. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. Uh, and then we're going to go to shading and we're going to make sure we add in, um, Alpha channel? 
be able to add in like alpha here, right? Oh, yes, 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 like this. You have to click and drag this. So now this should be transparent. If I go back to UV editing. It appears to not be actually transparent at all. Uh, uh, is this working how I think it is? It appears to be working how I think it is. Okay. So uh, this is not actually applying any transparency here. I don't know why it's not doing that. Um, it's weird. It should work. Why is that not working? Alpha. Yeah, this has an alpha channel. Uh, why is that not work? Huh. That's strange. This is kind of throwing a fucking wrench in my uh, my whole plan. I'm so very confused right now. You have no idea. Hmm. Rendering, animation, wasn't it? Shading. Uh, this is not. Huh. But I am. I am. I am fucking. I am fucking completely baffled. Okay, you know what? You know what? Close enough. Close enough. You hear me? Close enough. All right. So we're going to go back to layout, right? Okay. And then we're going to go here and we're going to go here for the dramatic lighting. All right. And then here's the head. Here's our fierce head. All right. And then we're going to fucking uh, rotate. We're going to rotate the head uh, on this axis for some reason. We're going to rotate the head and the head's going to like look like this. All right. It's going to look at you. Okay. It's looking at you. All right. And then we're going to go here and I'm going to click on uh metrics I always forget what fucking thing it's film and then I hit transparent now it's going to render as a transparent image okay so now we've got this and you know what I'm going to grab this camera here and we are actually going to uh the camera settings we are going to decrease the fov a little like that okay so here's here's our amazing head we're gonna do that and then i'm going to render an image all right i'm gonna render an image and i'm gonna save this image right 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 you, you following me you following me i'm gonna save this as uh that and then what we're going to do is I'm going to I'm going to grab the head again. I'm going to grab this cube, right? And then I'm going to do this. OK, see that now it's looking at you. Isn't that amazing? OK, and then I'm going to render this image again. Look at this. OK, I'm rendering the image again. I'm going to save the image as a different thing. OK, 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 saving that image. All right. So now, so now, so now we're going to get out of here. And then I'm going to I'm going to go to this game capture and I'm going to make the game capture uh, fit to screen again. Uh, and now uh, we're going to do the unthinkable. And we're going to save our project. All right, hold on, hold on. You following? You following? OK, watch this. Now I am going to open up my little PNG tuber software. OK, and I'm going to open that up, which is uh, where is that? There it is. And this. And then I'm going to enable uh, the source. Which is all the way up here. And we're going to boot this bitch up. And it should appear on your screen. Look, the magic. Here it is. I don't know why it's not. Oh, it's frozen. OK, so here's what I look like during the Racing Lagoon streams, right? This is me. Hi, how you doing? OK. So now we are going to uh, set up a new state here. State number two. All right. That's me. And what we're going to do is uh, we are going to oh, go. This doesn't show you my files. That's good. Uh, we are going to go to gamer hours. Uh, we're going to go grab. 
head. Okay. So ignore what's happening here. Ignore all the shit that's happening. I need to just remove a bunch of images. Uh, don't worry about it. Okay. So. So. Now. We're going to add in. Uh, we're going to add in. Well, you can look now. We're going to add in that. So now. Uh, the head turns. <laughs> it turns to look. Okay. There you go. Here's here's the floating head. All right. There, there you go. It's amazing, isn't it? It's fucking wonderful. All right. It's eye contact simulator. You're right. So now we're going to shrink this bitch. There we go. I have been. I have been embodied. I have been embodied into this space. And now I'm in the bottom right corner and I'm talking directly to you. Although, you know what I should do? I should, um, I should, uh, now I'm looking at the game. It's amazing. It's perfect. <laughs> it's amazing. It's perfect. And it totally works. There's nothing weird or wonky about anything I'm doing right here. It's, it is, it is immaculate. Okay, so where were we? Uh, right, I was getting uh, bored with trying to fucking design this thing. Hmm. I don't like this. I don't like how this looks right now. Um, but I think if I like fill in the rest of this with wood, I can make it look a little bit better. But we don't really have enough wood for that right now. Uh, but I can still try. I can still try. Minecraft streams are for goofing off. So I'm fine with taking a weird tangent and doing whatever the fuck it is I just did. Okay. So I could fill this all in with wood and then carve out the parts where I'm going to put like Moss. Well, this kind of makes it look worse. It's not really helping me visualize, you know? Hmm. I don't know. This is why I have, like... Adds to the flavor, you goddamn right. When the streamer gets bored with her own fucking stream and decides to do something else. <laughs> uh... It'd fucking be like that. Shit. <laughs> Shit. It's weird. She got bored and she just left. We were, we were on BRB for like three hours. Great entertainer she is. Uh, okay. This is looking like something. Like an unknown ravioli. This has got kind of a, a, a look, I guess. Uh, it's centered, at least. That's what matters. Um, okay, okay. I ignore, like, the aesthetic design of this whole fucking thing. I can kind of see how um, this is going to work. I'm kind of looking at how this is going to work now. So if I... So if this space is going to be this big... Approximately in the final version, I have to check if these walls are even, if this is like properly centered, the horizontal walls. I can push stuff all the way off to the side and then have a big open space in the middle. I like me my open spaces, all right? And um, stuff like lining the walls, maybe stuff embedded in the ground a little bit in front of the wall um, for some extra storage as well as up, up above. Uh, and then you come up here and then you like press a button and it fucking shoots you into the end. And I can use that as a way to fast travel from this base back to spawn on top of all that. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah, I think that'll work. I think that could work. 
Uh, yeah. Honestly, you're talking about like the ADHD sensibilities. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I could. Hmm. I kind of want to do like a blender art stream just like straight up. I keep putting that off. Maybe we should like do that. We can do that now. Want to you want to do the blender art stream? You guys do you guys how, how do you guys feel about that? Blender art? I'd be down. I'd, I'd be down. Uh, I have an idea. So I remember when I was talking about how I wanted to do a custom version of this. Right. I do kind of want to do that. You know what? Yeah, we can do that. All right, we can do that. Oh, wow, this the, <laughs> the cube is vibing out here. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Fuck it. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck Minecraft. Let's let's switch over to an art stream.